On a previous video, we built this static website with Gatsby that we can see here. This website is rendering data from Contentful, actually this data that we can see here. So now we are going to set up a pipeline in GitLab to deploy this website as a GitLab page. Okay, this is the format of a GitLab repository URL. So we have gitlab.com slash username slash repository name. And the format for GitLab pages is HTTPS username dot gitlab dot io slash repository name. In our case, the username is pragmatic reviews and the repository name is Gatsby Contentful. So the repository URL in our case is gitlab.com slash pragmatic reviews slash Gatsby Contentful. So the GitLab page URL where we're going to deploy our Gatsby website will be pragmaticreviews.gitlab.io slash Gatsby Contentful. So we need to specify this path prefix in our Gatsby config file. Okay, so I'm going to grab this from here and I'm going to open the Gatsby config file here and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, and here we need to make some other changes so that we can set up environment variables in GitLab and our GitLab pipeline will be able to pick up those variables from the environment. Here we need to replace these values to access the Contentful API by environment variables. So I'm going to replace this and I'm going to use this environment variable for the space ID. And I'm going to also replace this value and I'm going to use this environment variable as well. Okay, and we need to set up these two environment variables in GitLab. So we need to go to settings, CICD. So here I'm going to expand here on variables. And we're going to see that we have the two variables created. We have contentful space ID and contentful token. Okay, so those are the only changes that we have to do in our Gatsby config file. Now we need to create a GitLab CI file to set up our pipeline. So I'm going to create a new file and this will be dot GitLab CI YAML. So first we need to specify what is the image. So this will be image node latest. Remember that GitLab CI runs on Docker containers. So we need to specify what is the base image for each pipeline. And here we need to cache some directories. If we go here to our local directories, we're gonna see that we have these three folders, cache, node modules, and public. So we need to cache in our pipeline, these three folders. So this will be cache, and we need to add paths here. And the paths that we wanna cache will be dot cache, the next one will be node modules. And also public. Remember that public here, this one, contains the index HTML and all the static resources. So this is public slash like this. Okay, and then we need to add this step to generate our pages. Let's call it pages. And here we need to add the script that we want to run to generate the pages. So script. And here we basically need to do two things. We need to run npm install to install all the packages. And then we need to run a command to build the static website. So one way to do that is using node modules dot bin slash Gatsby. And the command that we want to run is build. And here we need to pass one option that is dash dash prefix paths. And that's all we need to run in order to deploy the application as a GitLab page. So I need to also add here artifacts. And here we need to specify what is the path of the website. That in our case 
is the path to this folder public. So here this is paths, and here we need to add public. And another thing that we need to add is the branch of the pipeline. So this is only and the branch is, let me take a look. I'm going to stop the server. And this is git branch. And this is the branch, GitLab CI. So that's the branch that I need to set there. Okay, so now I'm going to push this new file in this branch, in this GitLab CI branch, and this is going to trigger the pipeline execution, and then we're going to see how the page is created. First, let's check the status, git status, just to check what are the files that we changed. So we changed the Gatsby config file, and we added the GitLab CI file. So git add, and I'm going to commit this, git, git commit. And this will be adding GitLab pipeline. And I'm going to push this. Previews. It's the password. And this is going to push the changes. So if we go to GitLab and if we go to the branch, GitLab CI, we're going to see that the pipeline is running here. We're going to see this pages stage where it is going to build the website. OK, so if you run this using the master branch, you won't have this problem. But if you are using another branch, you need to go here to settings, repository, and you need to add the branch that you want to use as a protected branch. So I'm going to do that right here. And I'm going to allow myself to merge and I'm going to allow myself to push. I'm going to protect this branch. And now I'm going to run the pipeline again. OK, so now I'm going to retry running this pipeline now that I protected this GitLab CI branch. OK, now it's running npm install. This is going to download and install all the packages. And now it's going to build the website running this command, Gatsby build. The process generated all the static assets. It also performed all the GraphQL queries to render the data from Contentful. Now it's going to save the cache with all the folders that we specified. OK, and now if we go to the URL, we should see the website up and running. And here we can see the data that we had in our local website. So that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.